Today we are looking at the latest release of the run to Linux. So here is the run to. The version is 24.04 and the desktop environment we are using the XFCE. So this distribution is from the Russia and the desktop environment is the XFCE. So here you can see run to XFCE 24.04 is the version and uh, here is what it is based on like a uh, Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. I'm going to go through all those things after this. So I'm going to click on OK and let me open the system monitor. So instead of system monitor, I'm going to first show you the all the distro information. Then we can go to the system monitor or else we can open the task manager right here. So we can see the resources of CPU and RAM. So let me find the task manager. So it's been like a three or four minutes. I've been booted the distro. So this is how it's performing. CPU is around like 20-25%. And the RAM it's consuming like a 1.2 GB because I installed the NeoFetch and the INXi. INXi was pretty much pre-installed. So I installed the NeoFetch. So I updated some packages and all those things. So that's the reason it will be going up. So these are all the processes running right now. So I'm going to check the about section. Here is the about which is LX task 0.1.10. And let's make it smaller and keep it aside. So you can see all the changes throughout the video in the CPU and RAM and you can judge on your own. And uh, here is the information like uh, it's based on Ubuntu 24.04.1. So this is this. Uh, I made a video on the 24.04.1 LTS version. If you want to check it out, you can check it out in my channel. So it's going to say like a Ubuntu and I'm running it on a VMware. So the kernel, you get the same kernel as the 24.04 Ubuntu. So you should be getting the same kernel. So it's the same thing. Uptime is six minutes, but I typed it like a four or five minutes ago. So it should be around like 11 minutes and the RAM will be also a bit more. I already showed you the system monitor so you can get the exact RAM there and also the CPU. About the packages right now, it's 1473 DPKG and shell bash version, you get the 5.2.21. My monitor resolution is 1920 into 1080. The desktop environment is XFCE 4.18. Window manager is right in front of you. And window manager theme is uh, Arc Lighter. And here are the themes icons. You can just read it from by pausing the video. So my CPU is i5 1240p and uh, RAM. I already showed you my RAM. So INXI S8, you just need to type in like that and you should be getting all the distro information. So the INXA is pre-installed, so you don't need to install the INXA. But for the NeoFetch, you need to install the NeoFetch. And it says like, let's go with all the information. So system, uh, on the system, it says like a host. Host is like a run to because we are running it as a live boot. In the boot menu, you should be getting two options. One will be the Russian language and the another will be the English language. Always boot with the English language if you easily understand the English. But if you want to go with the Russian, you can go with the Russian. It's clearly up to you. And kernel version is 6.8, which you already uh, I already showed you here in the NeoFetch. Compiler GCC version, you get the 13.3.0. You don't get the latest compiler. You should be getting the same Ubuntu information uh, throughout the distro, I guess. So desktop environment, which I already mentioned, which is 4.18.1 uh, of XFCE. GTK version is 3.24.41. And XFWM4 version is 4.18.0. And what else we have light DM version you get the 1.30 and distro it says like uh, Ubuntu 24.04.1 LTS and the code name for the 24.04 uh, is noble numbet. So this is the point update of the Ubuntu 24.04 LTS version. So if you want to go through all those information you can check it out my channel. I made all the Ubuntu and Ubuntu flavors of noble numbet. You can watch their uh, everything. And about the system RAM, I'm using 8 GB of RAM for the VMware right in front of you. And the available RAM will be like a 7.71 GB and it's consuming like a 1.92 GB. Like I already said, uh, I typed this uh, commands like a four, three, four minutes ago. So that's the reason there will be difference. And when you scroll it down, you should be also seeing some RAM information, which is clearly unnecessary. And here is my CPU i5-1240p, which I already mentioned. And here are like a flags, vulnerabilities, which is clearly unnecessary for the video. And the main things here is the graphics. BMW GFX version, you get the version 2.20. And what else we have? Let me scroll it down. Display, I'm using the X11. 
XOR's version is 21.1.11 and again here is the compositor XF, XFWM4 version and here is all the monitor resolution my present monitor resolution is 1920 into 1080 which I already showed you in the NeoFetch and now when we go to the audio you should be seeing the PyFair version 1.0.5 and also we have some other information here if anything is important you can just pause the video and read everything so here are like a network repos drives partitions everything and when we scroll it down you should be seeing all the process 255 and what else we have in its system D version you get the uh, version 255 and what else we have the GCC version which I already mentioned INX version is 3.3.34 and shell bash version i already mentioned that too so these are all the information you get uh, from the command so let me type in uh, another last command cat colon slash etc colon slash issue and hit enter it's going to say it like a ubuntu 24.04.1 lts so in the whole uh, terminal in the whole uh, commands you don't see it mentioned like a run to it just mentions like a ubuntu other than the host so i don't know why so i'm just going to close all the terminal so here is the uh, present task manager so it's going to say it like a 1.1 gb but when you open the terminal and uh, let's type in the new fetch now compare the NeoFetch and the uh, task manager here so it's going to say like a 1.6 GB so here it's showing like a 1154 which is 1.1 GB right now it shows like a 1.6 GB so that's the reason always use the terminal for exact RAM consumption so the system monitor works properly but some uh, task manager sometimes happens uh, have some issues so it's better to always use the terminal if you want to check the ram and uh, cpu it's better uh, to go and install the like a hstop or btop plus plus like that it's clearly up to you so i'm going to close everything and let's go to the official website so the kernel you get is a 6.8 as you can see the 6.8 is not here so right now the mainline version is 6.13 rc means release candidate and the stable version is 6.12.6 .6 and the 6.12 is also mentioned as the lts version and the stable version right now is 6.11.11 which is end of life and also the 6.12 is also the uh, stable version but if you want exact information you can go click on releases and you should be getting all the kernel information here and you can just type in uname-r and you should be getting the kernel information so let's close the ter term uh, kernel so when we click on the about semicolon support you should be getting the browser information so you get the latest browser uh, version here and it says like a canonical for the distribution id and here is the kernel information the user agent when you scroll it down you should be also seeing the ram available ram and the disk space available disk space and here is like a browser features information so if you want to go through all those things you can go through all those things I already mentioned all the mesa and audio graphics every information so here you should be getting some additional information so mesa version you get the latest 24.0 version and my present monitor resolution and here are some other information if anything is important you can just pause the video and read everything so in order to get this distribution you just need to type in like a run to and you should be getting the distro watch and the official website and also the source forge so in order to download you just need to go to the uh, source forge so like this and the iso files will be available so older versions are right here and the latest version is 24.04 so 16 hours ago so it's the latest iso so as soon as the uh, isos or the linux releases or the linux distro news whatever it's uh, uh, provided on the internet or released uh, as soon as it's released on the internet i'm going to be posting the videos so whether it's a youtube shorts whether it will be a, like a video or in the community post i will be posting every information about the linux and sometimes android ios everything so if you want to subscribe you can subscribe i'll be posting videos daily and uh, i'll be posting youtube shorts daily and also the community posts so it's better to subscribe and turn on the notification as soon as the video is posted you should be getting the notification and about the desktop environment you get the xfc here 
and there is also the light version i don't know i think i made a lot of videos on the run to linux so if you want to check it out you can check it out i should be made this video of light version and for the latest version you, you just need to click on the xfce or else here is the iso file you can click on the downloads just click on the downloads as you can see there is like a three downloads one is uh, mine and it will take like a five seconds and you should be good with the download so it's going to trigger the download here in a few seconds so always check the iso file whether it's a correct iso file or not so here is the version here is the number and everything so when we go to the official website this is the official website just a simple information so it says like a run to fast and light linux in russian i don't know whether it's a light or no so it's consuming like a 1.6 1.7 gb so it's clearly up to you to decide and also i'm running it on the virtual machine vmware so you need to decide whether it's a light a lightweight or not in my point of view i don't consider it as a light because under 1 gb is uh, pretty much lightweight so i don't uh, think it's a light in my point in my point of view so do let me know in the comment section what you think about this distribution whether it's a light version or not or the light uh, lightweight linux distro or not so it says like a latest news and update of the 64-bit version of the run 2 a light 22.04 so it's uh, old news so i'm just going to ignore all those things when we click on the news let's see whether we have any news or anything like that so we don't have any specific version so the version we are right now using is 24.04 so you can see there is no news so the last news was like a may 2023 so i'm just going to go back and click on the downloads and here you can see the run to light version 24.04 so we already tried the uh, light version so right now uh, we are using the full version so here are the older version if you want just go back and here is the forum here is the contacts i don't know what it is so let's check out all those things and uh, see what happens and about the pre-installed applications you don't get any bunch of applications you just get the basic xfc applications and you get the gimp and like a genie some library office some office suits and also power manager which is available in pretty much every distribution so that's it i don't think there is any new changes or anything but the uh the appearance is kind of different they added some like a classic style in the app menu so this is kind of classic other than that i don't see any fancy things or anything let's go with the appearance and check other things here are the available themes they added the arc lighter and arc darker let's choose the arc darker let's wait few more seconds and it's going to change everything in a black or maybe like that only icons they added a few icons here and about the font settings so the darker theme just uh, made the taskbar or the uh, top sidebar and the taskbar uh, darker a bit darker let's change the arc dark so it changed completely black now and you can choose whatever you want so if you ask me whether i am going to recommend this distribution or not i don't know because it's not a well known distribution in other countries i don't know about the russia so i made a lot of videos but uh, i never uh, say whether to use it or not it's clearly up to you so the country of origin i already said it's from the russia it's clearly up to you to decide whether to use it or not my main job is to do a uh, latest release of uh, videos so that's the thing if you ask me i say it's better to go with the ubuntu or lubuntu because it's pretty much same uh, just the themes other than that i don't see any fancy applications or any control centers or anything like that so in my point of view i'm not going to recommend i guess so these are all the forums and everything so those were the some of the information about the run to so if you ask me whether if you want to go with this description it's better to go with the lubuntu because you get uh, lesser resources consumption and if you have like a low end pc it's better to go with the lubuntu or subuntu you basically get the same thing and also they are well known and uh, used by a lot of people so it's better to go with those distribution and let's check about the installation whether we have any different type of application installer so it kind of looks different 
let's wait for a few more seconds let it open so the cursor looks uh, a bit different maybe because of uh, appearance changes and also there is a different wallpaper let's even check the wallpapers and you get basically the older installer so there is literally nothing new or anything fancy here so i'm just going to quit it because you already know how to install the linux distros and this is the older installer of ubuntu so you should be knowing and also some ubuntu old uh, some other ubuntu flavors are still using the older installer instead of new uh, installer and let's check about the wallpapers now so i don't want to make a video lengthy so that's the reason i'm trying to show everything uh, as short as possible and you get the windows kind of wallpaper like a windows 10 wallpaper so it's pretty much not same but uh, it has some pages type style so it's completely like a windows 10 and other than that you should be getting some wallpapers so here is like a open book open box and here are some nature wallpapers so this one kind of looks good so i'm just going to keep it like that here are the menus icons and about the applications here is the about panel and i'm going to do is let me open a few applications to see how it's going to perform so it's xfc desktop environment so it's going to perform better without issues so let me open a bunch of applications so i'm going to open some random things here let's find uh, a bit of resource consuming applications and here is the internet you get the thunderbird and also the you get the firefox let me open that and here are the properties if you want to customize you can customize here is the appearance behavior here is the visca menu behavior commands search actions so it's clearly customizable you can do whatever you want now let me open the terminal emulator let me type in neofetch let me hit enter and it's consuming 1.7 gb after opening a few applications so i already said xfc doesn't consume that much of uh, uh, resources when compared to the gnome and kde plasma so you basically uh, get the same style of like a uh, subuntu and lubuntu so it's better to go with those distributions if you ask me so there is no fancy or any changes you can add the themes and you can add the icons and you can customize according to your wish you just need to watch some tutorials so i rather say it's better to go with the well-known distributions instead of some random distributions from random countries so here is the uh, video of the run to linux distribution of the latest version we don't even have any release notes or anything so i don't know what to say these were the changes so you should be exactly seeing the same changes of the ubuntu 24.04 you get the same kernel as the ubuntu because it's based on ubuntu so you should be getting same information so other than that i don't think anything is new or any changes here so i'm just going to end the video and if you want to subscribe you can subscribe and turn on the notification and about the logout screen let's see whether we have any changes here so there is no password or anything you just need to click on login and it will automatically logs you in and here are all the information so i'm just going to end the video thanks for watching peace out